know if this is a good day to fish spinner bait or cheddar bait. So the jig is going down and we're going to a moving bait. Smoked it. That's why you throw a chatterbait. Oh, that's a good one. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, that's a real good one. What the heck? Oh, wow. See how, look, you see how he ate that chatterbait? I say real good one, but that's shorter than what I thought. That's a fat fish. Look at, look at his crush plate. Look at that. That has, that's only like a 13 or 14, no, that's a 14 or 15 inch fish, but that's got to be two and a half. What a nice catch. Man, I'm out here. It's 40 degrees. I'm throwing the chatterbait. The guys over at the Michigan fishing crew have been telling me, keep throwing it, keep throwing it. Well, I've been, and I've been getting them. Shout out to those guys. Hold on. <laughs> oh man, I gotta. Okay. What a catch. I almost had my drag too tight, but that's okay. You got pounds, ounces, double zero. Uh, if you press the on off tear button it'll clear the screen like i said i bet you that's two and a half i want to get this fish back as quickly as i can uh that is two pounds six ounces yep four or five six two five remember how i was up there and i had that jig tied on and i told you uh, it's time to go to a moving bait. That's why. When it's conditions like these or snowing, which it did do earlier, I'll take one fish for a video. Chatterbait. Heck yes. No, I'm not a fair weather fisherman. Because if you fish in the bad conditions, especially up here in the north, you will catch the fish. Now, what do I mean? Like, I don't mean you're always gonna catch them, but the fish up here, like, if you get a cold front, yeah, it'll, it'll shut them off. It'll, you know, move them out deep. But there's days where that cold don't affect these fish. Like, these large mouth and these small mouth, they'll still bite. Like, if you go to Lake St. Clair, like the cold affects them and you know the changes in the conditions affect them but they'll bite when it's 30 and 40 out sometimes even i know guys that have caught them even colder i'm just kind of rambling but i'm just telling you guys it's the truth i'm gonna be casting into high wind so i got four brakes on all right but even with the four brakes i still have a really loose spool tension and it should still be okay because as many of you know your best brake with this kind of wind is going to be your thumb now that was just a little just a little you know toss the bait out there if you want to cast into the wind like high winds you can do it but you'll have to go up on the brakes like i said now when you cast when you get that form 
you're going to hover your thumb over the spool like you would on any other cast but it's going to be almost the same thing with the wind you just you're going to have to practice and if you can't hear me i apologize see that went somewhat far it wanted to backlash but my thumb stopped it actually no that didn't go that far but i was able to make a cast and if you do that whether you're bank fishing or fishing from the boat that will help you get better uh accuracy hand-eye coordination you name it now that was a little bit better one i backlash all the time when i'm fishing in conditions like these i caught the one fish earlier uh on the same chatterbait and i just kind of wanted to add some things to this video if you can't hear me i do apologize make a few more casts down this bank i love weeds and that'll be it another thing you can do too is you can wait until the gust ends okay and when the gust ends and it feels calm for a second then you can cast you gotta understand you might think this is crazy this is oh whatever clickbait blah, blah, blah. no this comes from fishing the great lakes okay like there's times when you, you just got to be able to battle the elements to catch fish now i'm not going to do this bank fishing all the time but for for the demonstration portion of this video i will that wasn't bad that was that was quite a ways out there now why would i go into water like this where it's windy and maybe clear a little here dirty a little there because i think a fish will be there i got the one earlier like i said but i think that's going to be it and was that a bite or was that a weed what the heck was that that was weird see the wind just died then it picked up the bait went a little farther That was a bite. Oh my God. Big jig. Oh, he's running right at me. Oh, a pike. I thought that was a big fish, the way he fought. I got a good hook set on the jig though. No, nope, listen, listen, we're gonna get you free. Again, see about keeping pressure? Fish is unhooked. Gorgeous pike. I really thought that was a bass. So, switching baits chatterbait bass a little bit of casting into the wind and a gorgeous pike that i thought was huge <laughs> all right so real quick take a minute or two or whatever the tackle for today it is a seven foot two medium power moderate action shimano corrado it's got the six gear corrado k on there uh it's 16 pound fluorocarbon it's sunline z-man evergreen jackhammer chatterbait green pumpkin it's a green pumpkin pearl 3.3 inch trailer uh that medium moderate is a crankbait rod you have a medium moderate and a medium heavy moderate in the corrado series this is the lighter of the two it's great for open hook baits or i mean whatever you want to throw it on that's up to you and then the jig instead of a finesse or a 5 16 it's a full size this is a 3 8 juicy casting jig green pumpkin now i did make a couple modifications i don't normally trim the guard on my jigs but i trimmed this a little shorter than normal just to experiment with it and i didn't notice too many negative things about that so i trimmed that and i did trim the skirt so the trailer hangs the same way it does the way i fish a finesse jig but like i said you do have that for your jig which caught the pike chatterbait caught the bass um I mean, it's been very high winds today, not the greatest conditions, but it's also been good fishing weather, so 
There's the tackle, got a bass and a pike. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys.